something. I saw my doctor. A blood test showed it was low testosterone, not age. We talked about Axaron, the only underarm low T treatment that can restore T levels to normal in about two weeks in most men. Axaron is not for use in women or anyone younger than 18 or men with prostate or breast cancer. Women, especially those who are or who may become pregnant, and children should avoid contact where Axaron is applied, as unexpected signs of puberty in children or changes in body hair or increased acne in women may occur. Report these symptoms. Jim, uh, take a break there and just uh, look up at Lincoln there. There's an uh, interesting feature. Looks like a bit of a lowered base. That might be the shelf, the, 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 the shelf coming out with the, that. Uh, it's hard to tell. Is that the leading edge in Lincoln? Is that the second storm coming in? Yeah, let's take a look. Um, uh, again, uh, just to FYI on the Omaha cell, guys, it appears that it has uh, not, it's not rotating as rapidly right now. So let's hope that it stays that way. All right. So here's the Hastings radar. Let's go down toward Lincoln. Um, uh, is this the cell down near Wilbur, guys? Okay, so he, we actually have, look at this, Mark, holy smoke, man, we got three rotating supercells. First of all, here's the storm that we're looking at with Mark right there. Uh, again, probably rain wrap. Look at this storm. It's just come across the Kansas line now to the west of Chester. Not warned on yet, but it very well could in time. Here, oh boy, look at the base reflectivity. Wow. Of this. Classic hook right in through there. Uh, what you're probably looking at again is the leading edge of the gust front, probably the shelf cloud right there, but right behind that, there's probably a tornado. From yeah. where, from, they're, look, they're, they're south, somewhere south and east of it, looking back to the northwest. So you can't see the tornado per se. And again, we don't want to uh, let anyone have to just wait to get visual confirmation. There's too much rain. We'll use some of this as your confirmation. We have some live images coming in from York, Nebraska right now, I believe it is. And uh, from York, Nebraska, of this damage. Look at this, Jim. People are already out trying to survey what they can. Of course, a series of storms out there, just because you see one doesn't mean you won't get another. So be careful tonight. If you do get hit by any of these storms, have another place to go, right? Have another safe spot in mind because there are several of these storms in a row tonight and all of them have a big threat. So Jim's radar is on the right side of your screen. Some live yeah. pictures of damage on the left. Jim, what are you looking at right let's, there? Uh, let's go back and look at this storm here that's coming um, up toward uh, our friends in Omaha because uh, Jennifer just tells me you've got a rotating wall cloud near Gretna. So let's go ahead and advance this ahead. I was looking at a few scans a while ago. Looks like uh, this is it right here. All right, right where I've got my arrow. That's where the leading edge of it is. Let's see what the storm relative is looking at in terms of the rotation with the storm. Uh, okay, right up in here, Mark, here you can see it. We've yep, got, absolutely. Uh, air that's, uh, again, flowing in toward the radar, air that's flowing away from the radar, and right in there is our couplet, albeit broad, but what uh, Jennifer's telling me is there's a report of a, a rotating wall cloud. All right, so you've got this lowering of the base that's going on, and, you know, sometimes that doesn't necessarily mean super tight rotation. Next scan could show us that it could be very tight. As a matter of fact, if you go back and look at the scan where we did have the tornado, let's see how much tighter that is. Yeah, absolutely. All right. All right, so again, it's basically scan by scan here. And let me clear out your screenwriter for you, so. Okay, yeah, I'm just back, to that. so back to current time. Rotating wall cloud right now, just to the north and west of uh, Gretna, heading up toward Boys Town. And we're starting to get again into the Omaha area here, guys. This is a, a dangerous storm. Let's go to the southwest because- There's a new tornado two. warning coming out now too. For Thayer County, there is a new tornado warning in Nebraska. Yeah, you popping know what, I up bet there. you that's uh, the third the one Kansas, in Kansas, the third one in the line. Yeah, that was about to enter yep, Nebraska. It, it so is. we're watching all it of is. those. These are lined up in a row, guys. Each one has the potential to rotate and put down a tornado at any point and they have the potential of staying that way for a long time all along the way wrapped up in rain so you look won't necessarily that. see it coming at look you look at that couplet near swanton that Just is a, a dangerous looking storm very guys. dangerous uh, looking storm here uh what i like to see though mark is mm -hmm. when you go to the correlation coefficient we're not seeing anything yeah so that, right, we, so that means we don't have debris at least on this signature that what we would be looking for in this type of uh, view is a bright blue right. area that indicates tumbling things that the radar doesn't really think are round tumbling in this case would mean debris and so it's uh good that we aren't seeing that in this case that said there's strong rotation there and a tornado is possible at any point so we might see some of that rotation coming at you at any time take these warnings seriously again you got to get into your lowest level right now all right, so this is the last cell that's just come across uh, the Kansas line. And again, very strong rotation north of Byron, uh, south of uh, Deschler, uh, heading up toward Hebron, uh, north of Chester as well. Again, we'll do the same thing. We'll find, see if we can't find any kind of debris signature with this. The best way to do it is actually just show where you have the best uh, couplet and then actually go over to the correlation coefficient. This again, looks for an object that's not rain. 
Yes. All right. All right. All, most of this is all rain, so it shows up as pink. But every once in a while, you'll get these blue circles, like last week in Louisville and uh, over toward uh, Bologna. And I mean, that was just classic, massive damage in three. We don't have that yet. But again, guys, these things cycle. Uh, the Energy is there to produce tornadoes, and it looks like there's even another supercell in the line, again, in northern Kansas here, just to the south of Republic. And, Jim, here's a view of Fairfield, Nebraska, on the left side of the screen. Uh, it just it shows you how much rain there is. This guy's trying to drive down the road. It's hard to even see because uh, there's so much rain with these storms. And that's, again, another indication of how dangerous these storms may be tonight, as you will not have visual confirmation of these tornadoes until they are right on top of you. Don't wait to see it. Don't wait to hear it. Use these warnings as if that means there is a tornado coming at you. All right, Mark, uh, again, and, and just, this, this is that live uh, view of Lincoln again now, yeah, Jim. Here's the Lincoln area. And, this is all uh, this storm here down near Swanton. Uh, look at this. It almost looks like a big gust front right now with, with three little circulations on it. Uh, not surprising here. So again, this is what makes this so dangerous, especially uh, if it's wrapped in rain. Watch out in Wilbur, DeWitt, potentially Crete. You could be uh, in line for this as well. And I have to go to the Omaha radar to look at the Omaha cell here because we just don't have uh, the ability to look that far away, if you will, from Lincoln. So let's take a look at Omaha and get the latest uh, scan on that one. Again, tell them, for our friends in Omaha, we've got a tornado warning out for the western suburbs uh, of the uh, Omaha metropolitan area. We've already had confirmation of a rotating wall cloud to the northwest of uh, Gretna. At least at this point from the latest scan, we have not seen anything show up on the correlation coefficient. But the problem is, too, we're also getting into this area where uh, it's almost too close. You know what I mean? Sometimes you look up uh, just, you know, you, you, you almost look above what's going on near the surface, Mark. Right. right. Here. There's actually several different National Weather Service offices ch uh, chatting about that right now, that some of these storms are so close to the radar sites that they're having trouble s really figuring out what's happening. Uh, you can get in problems when the radar's too far away or right. when it's too close. And in this case, it might be too close. Yeah, uh, th this isn't so close though that we can't see the rotation. We're okay. certainly seeing some that, rotation. That, that absolutely yeah. Yeah, gives us an idea of where it is. Uh, again, just south of Bhutan, uh, Elkhorn, you're south of this. Probably some strong winds right now in Springfield out of the south. Uh, Gretna, again, the storm looks like it's just north of your city center, but it is going to continue to move in this fashion. Uh, let's actually see if we can zoom in a little bit more and get another. Boys Town. Boys Town is probably going to be the closest in yeah. terms of trajectory. And Jim, with that the motion of these storms that you've been watching through the day. Uh, have we been seeing much of those classic kind of right turns that would bend it closer you know to what? Omaha? When, you, know what? you know when this, this storm turned? Down near Garland. Okay. That's when it did significant damage, and that's when it actually turned HP. That, that, that's, that's when I remember. Other than that, uh, I haven't looked at this close enough, Mark, to, to uh, tell you, you know, that each one of these has turned right. But again, guys, we're watching one, two, three, Four supercells here just sitting across southeast Nebraska right and now. And so uh, for time there, circle number two there right over Lincoln, and we were getting a live look at the Lincoln area with uh, widespread uh, heavy rain, lots of lightning. So this is what we're watching in Lincoln. Not so much in the way of uh, clear rotation in the Lincoln area right now, yeah, which so is there, good news. So there's a wind gust measured by a spotter, uh, 1.5 miles east of Lincoln Airport, trees blown over. Uh, that was just measured 75 miles per hour. So that's a hurricane measured gust. All right, hurricane measured gust there uh, at Lincoln, and that's with this second storm. So the first thing they got was the, the first storm's rear flank downdraft. Right. Then here comes this next storm that, thank goodness, even though it's a hook, has not wrapped up to a tornado. Uh, there's no tornado warning on it. There's no strong rotation with this. Yeah, Jim, but some it's of the got best enough to produce 75 miles per hour. Some of the best damaged. rotation looks like it's up near Omaha again. Can we jump back up towards the Omaha radar Absolutely. as this is heading back towards the western suburbs? We also have a look, uh, a live look near Omaha. Uh, so we have both the radar on your screen here. Jim's uh, mm -hmm. playing that in motion for you. That kind of gray circle is the radar site itself. So this is moving right towards the radar. And Jim, here on the left side of the screen is a view near Omaha. And uh, tough to oh. see exactly what's going on there. But man, there is a, a lot of rain, uh, a lot of low gray clouds, a very ominous sky, very dangerous looking sky, constant lightning flashes there. And you know that this rotation seems to be uh, trying to tighten up a bit as
as well. So All right, just FYI, this is yep. 18 miles from the city center. Yeah. All right, the, the rotation that we have on the radar right now is 18 miles uh, from the city center. So we are closing in in terms of getting this thing in in the next uh, half hour, 45 minutes, right into the downtown area. It's rotating. Uh, there there's, was a rotating wall cloud at last task with this. We do not have, I believe, right, Jennifer, a tornado on the ground with the lead storm, correct? No, no tornado on the ground, at least from Omaha. It's hard. Uh, I haven't seen that reported right. yet. It, it wouldn't surprise me. Nothing says uh, from looking at these parameters that we've got massive rotation going on. But we will have, I can tell you that, some very, very strong winds. This is the same thing they're dealing with in Lincoln. Big, big gust front. You can see it right there, Mark. Out ahead. Let me put the white on there so you can see. There's just too many colors yeah. in the red. Uh, big, big gust front here. So you're seeing winds just hammering down on uh, Gretna and soon to come into Boys Town as well. Uh, Pap uh, Papillion, as well as La Vista, you're all in line for this. You're going to deal with this, uh, with probably with this gust front here in the next uh, 15 minutes or so. And again, it Omaha itself way. is all the way to the right side of your screen towards right. like the, just the, took the, uh, the yellow corner of the HD right radar just off to the right from there. That's the border of Omaha, and this is due west from you. So sometimes you can get a spin up, all right, on the leading edge of that, but the main circulation's back here. Now, and what so does this tell you that you have that spit, that uh, gust front so far out ahead of that main rotation? Well, that's, now? it tells me we actually have an HP supercell that uh, wants to cycle fast, um, and the problem is it's some 15, 18 miles west of Omaha. And given what we've seen with these HP supercells today, where they've taken about 20 minutes to cycle, that worries me a little bit, it to does. be honest with you. So th th this does not mean it's weakening at all. It just means it's going it's going through one of these cycles where, at least at the moment, the, the center part of it is not a tight rotation or a couplet. So what the with the arrow on the screen right now, that's the uh, the strongest rotating right. that's winds. That's where we have it right there. But Heading we've got Boys that Town. kind of that uh, kind of apex of the bright wind, the bright right. reds coming out. That's all rain, rain and wind and lightning right. and possibly some hail even out ahead of the uh, strongest rotation. I would argue the strongest winds are actually right here on the leading edge of this. All right, so that's why yeah. Boys Town, La Vista, Papillion, these are the areas. Springfield as well. Yeah, yeah. and they're, Springfield's they're, on your screen right now. Here's a live look at Springfield. They're um, moving yeah. to, uh, so, so the, you're seeing what we're looking at. Right. Here's so the the radar on the right. And Springfield's down on the, uh, the bottom of your screen. Light rain already. There's you're driving through it. But look to the north there. Look at that dark gray sky off to the uh, kind of the left side of that live image from Springfield. That is that main gusty, uh, nasty, uh, complex rain coming right at you in the yeah, Springfield area. This is exactly it. Here's, here's the gust front right in through here. Uh, so Springfield, Papillion, La Vista. And you know what? A lot of times the focus is on a tornado because we know those can be very, very damaging. But if you get a 75 or 85 mile per hour uh, wind with a rear flank downdraft, you're going to think you had a tornado because it's it, yeah. can, it can actually produce more damage. So we have to talk about that as well. And you'll notice, Mark, the severe thunderstorm warning includes that gust front. So the tornado core, the circulation with the tornadoes up here, if there is one at all, right. and, and the gust front, again, is down here. So that's what the warning is dealing with uh, for those folks. Let's take a look at some of these other cells that are off to the southwest because they were uh, incredibly dangerous as well, Mark. Let's take a look at these. Again, uh, two. Um, we're going to leave Lincoln for the time being because they've already gusted out. These are the two supercells with tornado warnings on them. Uh, let's take a look at the storm relative here because I just updated those earlier. All right, so again, one of these cases where you know you've, you've got a gust front maybe with a couple of couple of spins on it right there. All right, main circulation back in through here. So here's this strong wind coming uh, toward Wilbur, DeWitt, Plymouth. You may deal with a brief tornado, or you certainly may deal with uh, some strong gusty winds, uh, as is the